Good morning, I'm Neva Reti Manu, and this is your morning news fix for Tuesday, 5th of December. In this update, the 54th Parliament will today convene for the first time, but its sitting will not be without controversy. Political editor Jason Wall says more. Chris Luxon will today take his place in the Prime Minister's seat in the chamber, flanked by his ministers and his coalition colleagues. There are a number of important things on the agenda today, not least of which is the election of the Speaker. All going well, that will be Jerry Brownlee. But Tipati Māori are likely to throw a spanner in the works after vowing their MPs will not pledge allegiance to the King when they're sworn in. And there may be more than one spanner being thrown. Te Pati Māori has planned a series of car convoys with the intention of disrupting traffic flows in many North Island centres during rush hour this morning. President John Tamahete says he's particularly concerned about plans to remove laws ensuring Tamariki and state care are connected to their whakapapa. National Urban Māori Authority Chair Lady Tudeti Monkson says this failure to listen to tangata whenua is a breach of the Treaty of Waitangi. If we truly want to build a country free of inequities, then you must build the kind of partnership to Treaty of Waitangi. Meanwhile, the new government's being accused of saying one thing and doing another. A cabinet paper leaked to News Hub reveals the coalition's plans to repeal fair pay agreements. They show Workplace Relations Minister Brooke Van Velden is ignoring Treasury advice after being told women, young people, Māori and Pasifika could have benefited from FPAs. Council of Trade Unions President Richard Wagstaff says they're out of touch. We have this government moving as quickly as they can to remove significant benefits from workers like cleaners and security guards and bus drivers and other low-paid workers, hundreds of thousands of them, are now going to have their hopes dashed. The new government is kicking off its 100-day plan by increasing Working for Families payments. It will raise family tax credit rates by $8 to 144 per week for the eldest child and $100 and to $117 rather for each subsequent child. The change comes into force from April. It's required under law for the government to adjust tax credit levels for inflation whenever the rate runs above 5% a year. Hundreds of businesses hit by crime are taking advantage of the Retail Crime Prevention Programme. Police say 732 businesses have had security measures like fog cannons and bollards installed in the past year. 54 retailers currently have installations underway. Retail NZ CEO Carolyn Young says the level of security being put in place across the country is unprecedented. We're climbing up from low-level security that was required, you know, sort of pre-COVID to levels now where there's lots of security guards and lots of additional measures throughout stores. In sport, Lewis Clearbert signed with one of the country's newest swimming entities, Auckland-based Club 37, for the final eight months of his Paris Olympic campaign. Tom Foley, the television match official for this year's World Cup rugby final, is the latest figure to walk away from the international game, citing online abuse. Terry McFlynn, the new director of the A-League Auckland Football Club, says they hope to have a coach in place by Christmas. I'm Neva Reti Manu. That's your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update at midday from the News Talk ZB Newsroom.